Minister of Youths and Sports Development, Sunday Dari, has announced the temporary closure of the National Stadium, Surulere, Lagos, due to the collapse of a flood, floodlight mast. The minister made this known in a statement after inspecting the mast. The floodlight pole broke into two and fell following a windstorm and heavy rain on Wednesday. Now, three days after the incident, which indicate weakness of the entire main bowl stadium, Solomon Ajutiogu went to the complex to find out what went down. Officials of the sports ministry have now swung into action by cordoning off the main bowl area and restricting movements into the stadium complex. You see they cover something, you see plastic here, look at the space here. Despite the caution tapes wound round the main bowl, some people were walking right through the caution tapes. This is a national monument, a beautiful edifice. Nigeria built this in 1972 and then we hosted the All Africa Games in 1973. This is one trust that has broken into two. Even though not the, that particular infrastructure, probably maybe another uh, building might just collapse. Uh, or maybe one of these trees might just collapse. Or who knows? At least the, for my little knowledge, this stadium has been like has been into like has been in existence for a very long period of time. So there's probability of it of most of the building getting weak. So if that can happen, then there is high probability of something like that repeating itself. If that one could happen, who knows the other things that are actually weak right now that you may not even know can collapse. We still have three more of this standing. There's been a suggestion that the other three should be brought down for 19 years. This stadium hasn't been in use, but then for 50 years, it's been standing. It is now hoped that proper evaluation and urgent action will be taken to save this national monument from total destruction. Salomon Ajizyogu, TVC News, Lagos.